Hello everybody, today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the ZTE lever, lever, and the only phone case I could find with it. And it's actually by them, or from Straight Talk, so it's actually going to fit and feel good with the phone. I haven't taken anything out yet, so I don't know what to expect. But that's basically what it looks like. It's a huge phone. It's a... a how big is it? Six inches, I believe. I have a, a Galaxy S7. Um, so the reason why I bought this is I have no idea. I just felt like it. It was uh, $200 at Walmart, and the case was 18. I kind of just bought it because I felt like it, and there's no good reviews on face or not Facebook on uh, YouTube of anybody actually doing this phone, so I thought I would be the one to spend $200 and do the review as best as I could. But, also it says that this phone is not capable of being unlocked, but it is. So, I'm going to try and do that because it only costs four ninety nine euro, which I believe comes out to about $11 or $10 US. So I'll try that, because it takes the same SIM card as the one that I have in this phone. But I don't know. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. But, <clears throat> I'll try and crack this bad boy open. They always really make these things really hard to get into for some reason. Let's see. Some things that I know about this phone is it has an 8 megapixel... Uh, rear facing camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. Um, it can have up to 32 gigabytes in it from an SD card. I believe it comes with 16 on board. Uh, which isn't very much for nowadays standards because my S7 came with. I don't want to mess up this box just in case I can return it. But my my S7 came with uh, 32 on board, and it has a 64 inside of it. So it's like there's a lot in there. I only bought it just because it's big. I mean, it's 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 big. Unless you see it in person, this phone is as big as my hand. There's all this. Start here stuff, we're not doing that, don't care, don't care. Um, but yeah, let's, let's pop into this bad boy. Yeah, that is a big, that's a big phone right there. That's pretty big for a phone. It's about the size of my, actually it's a little bit bigger than my iPhone 6 Plus when I had it. It feels, it feels good in the hands. It's it it feels like quality, but not, you know, the quality you'd get from a good phone. It has a nice, uh, non fingerprinty back to it, as you can see. Probably not, but oh well. And peel off the front, fine and dandy. Hallelujah. Um, screen, it's pretty weird, because it actually lifts off of the whole phone, so that's a pretty strange design, but, you know, whatever works, works. And then I'll just go inside and see what's in here. There's setup, it looks like, there's the little doohickey you get to... Put your SD card in there and micro SIM. But you don't really need one, you can just get like a, a paper clip or something. And it comes with a micro USB a wallet thingy. <laughs> Open this up and see what the volts. It is a. Where's the output? 
5 volt. Who knows? I don't care about that. We'll turn it on. And get the first look of it. See if it has any juice. Oh, it does. I just want the junk out of the way. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay. I really hope you don't have to activate it. Please tell me you don't, because that'd suck. Alright, apparently it takes five minutes. I will pause it if this takes too long, and then I'll come back. Alright, and that took forever, and I thought that I had to go on the Walmart's website and buy a prepaid card to set it up, because it was sitting here taking forever, and then I paid for the thing. I tried to cancel it, so hopefully it cancels. If it doesn't, it's whatever. It's only 30 bucks, and it was like a couple... 1,000 minutes unlimited data stuff for this phone. I don't, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use it for other stuff. Maybe for unlimited data. No, I think it's like 100 megabytes of data, but that's whatever. But then I just sat here and it was like, oh, we're having a problem doing uh, the activation. And, and it said skip. I was like, what the fuck? So I really hope that it doesn't... <laughs> I really hope that it doesn't send that. So now it brought me up to this where I can put in all my information. So I'll type in my my uh, password. Okay. There's that. I'm just checking the connection. I hope to God it's not checking any kind of... Oh, phone, no. <laughs> Basically, I'm just holding my phone up with, like, two packs of cigarettes and a selfie stick. <laughs> so hopefully it stays up. What is it doing? Would you stop trying to connect to whatever you're doing? Maybe it's doing the, the internet. Which, the internet's, like, absolutely horrible down here. Oh, it did something. I was checking the information. Enter my email... Okay. Just tell me for my password. Okay. And I can accept all that good stuff. It doesn't show my email or anything. I wouldn't care, but I don't want some random person sending me a picture of his penis in my email. Back up data stuff, keep whatever, I don't care. Just a sec. That's my most favorite word for my parents, is just a sec. <laughs> Even my phone knows. Or this phone. <laughs> I noticed that it's like, the font is very big. Whatever, I can set up a, a screen lock for, come on. Focus phone, focus on the other phone. Okay, I don't. I'll just do a pattern of what it's on my Galaxy S7. And show notification content, backup phone, don't care. Alright, next. And there we go. And it loads. Hallelujah. So yeah, that's this ginormous phone. Let's see what it's... It's pretty... That's pretty smooth. I would expect it to be pretty smooth for what it costed. But I'll see what, uh... What firmware it's running. I'm suspecting it's running, like, KitKat. No, oh yeah, no, it's running Lollipop. That's surprising. And I just got a thing. Oh, and then you can play the Flappy Birds. <laughs> Do 
but let's see if um where's the kaga i haven't used kickat or lollipop i used marshmallow let's see if there's a software update for it it's unable to connect to the server <laughs> See, this is software. You know, I don't know. Maybe you can can have to update it to the service or whatever it's on right now. <clears throat> but I'll try and see what the phone get to hold. So swipe up to unlock. Oh, that's pretty sick. Everybody's gonna know what the passcode is. Oh my God, it's a G. But then we're gonna put the phone case on. See if that fits. I should probably lower the brightness just a hair because it's messing up everything. It's it's just going to be like that. It's just going to be really bright over there for a second. <laughs> Let's smack this on there. This is the black one. It's just normal black. I'm going to shut this off. It's a normal black uh, case. Just because the other ones I had was like purple and stuff, which I didn't really care. Just because I wasn't going to use it extensively. Another sticker right there. This also, you can't take out the battery. So, in a way too, if it like ever froze on you, you would just hold down on the power button and hold down. And it does like an automatic reset. At least that's what it does for my phone. I would suspect it would do it for this phone also. And there. Fits good button cutouts right there I don't like really I don't like button cutout type things I like it when it actually has a button there and you can see those your ports right there your mics right there headphone jack there's another mic up there or, or yeah the mic maybe I don't know see most phones nowadays come with two so yeah and there's another LED for your notifications. God, this thing's big. That's what she said. But, uh, yeah. That's basically it. It's pretty snappy for what you're paying for. You should be able to get something that's pretty snappy, so. But it also said that this phone is not. Let me make, make sure it said that right. This phone is not capable of being unlocked. Well, sir, we'll figure that one out. <laughs> but yeah, this is the review of the giant, good lord, ZTE lever, 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 LTE. I don't know what kind of thing I can like put it up against so everybody can see how big it is. Um, there's a monster can. So it's, it's about as big as a monster can if you know how big a monster can is. It's actually the same size. So yeah. I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can unlock it. See if Walmart didn't go through with my payment, <laughs> which they probably did, which would just be wonderful because then that's thirty dollars down the hole. But oh well, what are you gonna do? But yeah, I'll do a a video if I can unlock it somehow. If not, yeah. I hope this helped anybody that wanted to get this phone. If I didn't have. Uh, Galaxy S7 that I do right now through US Cellular, I would, I would get this phone for sure. Easily, it's a nice, big, huge phone. I'm probably just gonna use it for Netflix and YouTube and what have you. But let's see if there's any way I can see um, the specs on it. No phone number. No, I can't really see the specs. I don't know if there's any way I could see it on, on the actual phone. Oh, I can. I'll just go over it again. 
It has a 6 inch touch screen with 4G LTE. It has Android 4.4 or higher. I don't think they're really gonna. Like I said, it had 5 on there. I don't think they're gonna go past that. They might. It has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. It has an 8 megapixel front, 2 megapixel back um, video recording. Ooh. The uh, Wi Fi, obviously, it has Bluetooth 4.0. Um, it says access over 1 million apps <laughs> and more on the Google Play. It says supports micro, um, micro SD up to 32 gigabytes, not included. The battery talk is up to 15 hours, so you can talk on 100% battery for 15 hours. Um, the internal, or the standby, the standby time is 10 days, which is pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's 3200 milliamp hours. Um, the internal memory is 16 gigabytes, which isn't horrible, but I mean, it's, it's 16 gigabytes. It's not gonna... I'm not going to use up that very fast, but yeah, it just proves that you don't, when you buy this phone, you don't have to have a card for it, like you just have to wait out the five minutes and it'll give you an error, so you can, I didn't know that, I thought I would have to buy one, that's why I went and bought one, but you don't, if you buy one of these phones, just like a burner phone like I did just for, just for the giggles of it, you don't have to get um, uh, um, a card with it. Because obviously, as you can tell, I didn't mess with it and do anything. And it, it it's, it's doing its thing just fine. I cannot do this with one hand. But yeah, it's on there. There's obviously no connection because I didn't set it up with anything. It's only got Wi-Fi. But yeah. Oh gosh, that's big. I'll just prove to you that there's... That it's... That's my girlfriend. Yeah, it's his phone number, nothing. Nothing. That apparently got copied. Yeah. That was that. So you don't have to have a, a card to do that. So yeah. If you like this video, give it a like up. If you didn't, then you probably didn't make it this far if you didn't. <laughs> but yeah, if I can somehow unlock it, which it says it, it's not able to be unlocked, which I'll, I'll make it unlocked. I can, I'll figure out a way, but who knows. But yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.